Prince Philip died on April 9, 2021 and was laid to rest on April 17, 2021, following a funeral service held at St. George's Chapel on the grounds of Windsor Castle. Philip's casket was lowered into a hidden vault located beneath the chapel, according to the Daily Mail. The Duke of Edinburgh is the 25th royal to be buried at this location. The most recent royal to be interred in the vault before Philip was Princess Augusta back in 1930, as The Sun reported. The vault was built sometime between 1804 and 1810 at King George III's request. In order to be placed in the royal vault, the coffin is reportedly lowered through an opening in the floor of St. George's Chapel. This process usually occurs at the funeral. Philip's casket will remain at the 200-year-old vault until his wife, Queen Elizabeth, passes away. At that time, his casket will be moved. When the time comes, Prince Philip's casket will be moved to King George VI Memorial Chapel, where his wife will eventually be buried with her parents, King George VI, who died in 1952, and the Queen Mother, who died in 2002, as well as Queen Elizabeth's sister, Princess Margaret, who also died in 2002. Although Margaret was cremated, her ashes are with her parents at the Memorial Chapel, according to Hello Magazine. The outlet reports that the Memorial Chapel was added onto the north side of St. George's back in 1969. King George VI and the Queen Mother lie in rest in a tomb with a black stone slab on the floor that features their names written in gold, along with the years of birth and death for each of them. Since Queen Elizabeth will be buried with her family, Philip's casket will be moved after her passing so that they can be together. Because of this unique situation of lockdown, she really was able to be with him until the very end, and, and she was with him when he died. Although Queen Elizabeth's immediate family lies in rest in King George VI Memorial Chapel, the rest of the royal family is buried all over the UK. According to Express, the site of Prince Philip's funeral, St. George's Chapel in Windsor, was where Kings Edward IV, Henry VIII, and Charles I were buried. The chapel's royal vault has held the bodies of several kings, including George III, George IV, and William IV. Elsewhere in Windsor, many royals are buried on the grounds of the Frogmore House and Gardens. You'll likely recognize this property as the location of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding reception in 2018. Among those who were buried there are King Edward VIII, Queen Victoria, and her husband, Prince Albert, according to Express. Over in London, several royals have been buried in the famous Westminster Abbey, such as Elizabeth I, Charles II, and Queen Anne. In addition to royal family members, Sir Isaac Newton, who discovered gravity, was buried in the Abbey as well, according to its website. But these burial traditions aren't the only ones the royal follow after a death. Once Prince Philip has arrived in his temporary resting place in the St. George's Chapel, the British royal family will follow a strict set of mourning protocols, according to Express. Prince Philip's widow will continue to wear black. After her husband passed, the Queen and the royals entered an official mourning period of eight days, but the full mourning period for the royals is 30 days. So during that time, Queen Elizabeth II won't make any public appearances. Of course, she'll still complete her royal duties as Queen, but this the protocol will give her the chance to work and mourn for her husband in private and away from the public. Other British authority figures observed Prince Philip's death as well. Members of the UK Parliament wore black armbands and black ties during the mourning period. In addition, several party and government leaders from the House of Lords paid tribute to the late royal on April 12th.